Hi guys, putting here with the game for you, my tier 4 premium US battleship, the Arkansas Beta, which is nothing more than a Wyoming with absolutely no AA. Of course, I'll be showing you my captain build and my modules, but today is not so much about the gameplay, it is about the discussion and the talk we are going to have. There's a reason you are seeing <clears throat> screenshots of how many ships I have sitting in port. And the doubloons and the credits and the free experience I actually have. Because this talk is going to cover two topics that I think kind of go hand in hand. Low tier gameplay and the NTC or Naval Training Center debacle. Now, my personal feeling is I think the NTC is a great idea. Fantastic idea wonderful idea. Probably one of the best ideas Wargaming has come up with uh, in World of Warships. Now before everybody grabs their pitchforks and starts storming a castle and complaining and going, oh my god, the NTC was the worst thing happened to me. Was the, was the third worst thing happened to me. Oh jeez, what was the first two things? Well, the first two things was the girlfriend moved in and the dog left. And then I heard about NTC. Oh my god, my life's going in ruins. And I think that's how everybody reacted to it instead of going, Great idea, you're implementing it all wrong. It's absolutely absurd. Now, of course, I'll, most people were going, The bonuses are wrong, the bonuses are wrong, the bonuses are absurd, but they lumped the bonuses put the whole NTC into one big freaking debacle. At least that's how I perceived it. If I'm thinking it wrong, whatever, fine. It's my talk and I'm going to take it however the heck I want. But I can understand why Wargaming went bonuses, went with the, initially went with the route of combat bonuses. Because as you see, oh my god, look at all the stuff that I have. You know, I... I have over 600 days of freaking premium time. I'm probably gonna, uh, like eventually if I ever do move on, I'm probably gonna leave at least 300, 400 days of premium time just behind, just collecting dust, not doing anything. But I'm not hurting for free experience. I'm not hurting for credits. And you and me going, oh, geez, half a billion, you're on the low end. I was at three quarters of a billion and I Blew it all on flags. Guess what? I don't have to worry about it anymore. I ain't got to worry about flags for a really long time. I'm not hurting for money. But, you know, if they did do the whole bonus thing, like, oh, geez, look at all that free experience. I could easily go up all three of the carrier lines again and still have a bunch of free experience. I'd probably have two, two million free experience still just sitting there because... When they do this NTC thing, trust me, I'm free XP and all the carriers again. It's cheap and it's the most effective or the most efficient uh, use of my resources is to do those first. You know, because there's only four, six, eight, and ten. There's, there's four ships. Not going to be hard for me. So, uh, I can see why they went uh, the route with uh, the bonuses, because they want to keep players as myself playing the game. At this point, we are the staple of the game. Uh, we are the ones that, not, that did not leave the game during the CV rework. We stayed. We're still playing this game through the CV rework. Uh, you know, while they try to figure that stuff out. And Wargaming usually goes off the data, and then they go off player feedback, but they stick with data first. You know, and they have privy to a lot more data than us going, oh my god, carriers are so bad, oh my god, this is the worst thing since, you know, the dog left and the girlfriend moved in. You know, we're still here, we're putting up with it, we're dealing with it. And uh, I think that's why Wargaming went that route. Because what do we need economic bonuses for? We know how to farm for the whatever the heck we need. The we are very efficient at it. 
do we need 19 point captains on every ship? No, but I guarantee you, a lot of us are gosh darn near close. And every ship we do play, the ones we enjoyed, trust me, there are a 19 point captain. If we have one that's sitting less than 19, that's because we don't play that ship that much, we're not concerned about it. And then when we do go to play it, if there's a skill we want. Yeah, that's right. That's all we're doing is clicking the mouse. Okay. Okay, he's a 19 point captain. I'm good to go. Let me build that up again until I play uh, a ship that needs 19 points. You know, it's not an issue. And with as many ships, you know, I have over 200 ships. Well, I still have a tier one. Yes, I still have my black swan. I still have a South Carolina. I've got tier two ships. Uh, if I need to buy one, trust me. It's, it's getting a tier two ship for me is is going to cost me less than buying debt flags. So, I mean, all of us that I believe Wargaming wanted to keep around, you know, we're not hurting. Now, I do believe everybody was correct or uh, was completely uh, fearful for. They, they were right. I recently was playing at a Tier 2 NDA ship, Destroyer class. That's all I will say. I do believe somebody was in a game who recognized me, and I don't know if they recognized me from stream or from YouTube. I forget. I apologize. But, you know, they were like, oh, you know, they, they were saying hi. But let me, you know, let me ask you something. All you guys there are tier three. How many games do you remember when all 20 minutes? How many games do you remember where it mattered on who got the caps? Uh, how many... How many games can you remember where, oh man, thank God we kept those too early because, man, a point leak gave us. It's usually everybody dies before that stuff happens. It's very few and far apart. But the gentleman I was particularly going against, I'm in a tier two, he's in a tier three cruiser, and I'm some south, south, uh, some St. Louis class. I can't remember if it was, you know, what it was, but I remembered it was, it was definitely a cruiser. And I was definitely a destroyer. Guy was near full health. I was, I uh, trust me, I was hurting. I was a hurting little, I was a hurting little DD. But man, I was doing everything I could to get the win for the team. I was doing everything I could. I could have easily just yoloed them and hey, let's move on with our lives. Nope. I was doing everything I can to try to get the win to help my team to help these guys because they fought hard so why shouldn't I fight hard why shouldn't I give it my all and it really came down to the, to the seconds they had had caps longer than us they had two to our one uh, it really came down to I had to kill the guy to win the game and I just ran out of time but I was winning the fight and the one thing I remember is Instead of what you normally see at the high tier, oh my god, you're such a worthless DD, uh, DD, you're a fucking piece of shit, you're cancer, you're blah blah blah, you're the worst human being in the world, you're so useless. They were trying to help me out. Hey, you need to stay hidden. Hey, you need to ambush. Hey, you need to get caps. Hey, you need to do this. Oh, sorry for the sniffle. But my chat was trying to help me out. They were trying to help me win. And I do believe somebody said, hey, he's an ST, leave him alone, he knows what he's doing. And that's what somebody kind of stood in, but uh, doesn't mean we can't help, doesn't mean we can't tell him. You know, it, it, the interaction was positive and not negative. And I think what uh, us grizzled final, uh, veterans, veterans were afraid of is, the professional SEAL clubbers are going to get a huge bonus over the people that are trying to learn the game. Well, I agree. There shouldn't be combat bonuses uh, per se. <clears throat> you know, like, you know, that, that are in the game for tearing up your ship. Uh, combat bonuses should be given to everybody. If you choose not to run a camouflage, uh, you know, that's you maybe not being able to afford it but it's 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 there it's there for you uh everybody can use them 
but giving somebody who's just now, for example, getting into uh, a Wyoming. You know, low torque battleships are kind of notorious for their lack of accuracy. They're not 2.0 Sigma. Uh, <coughs> giving somebody who's got a tier uh, a, a level 3 Wyoming and compared to somebody who's just starting out uh, and giving them better dispersion, more health, faster. Team has taken it's too much of, of a bonus. The, the skill the skill is gone. It's now turned into uh, lack of better word. Well, pay to win. You know, I, I can just easily buy myself uh, a level three Wyoming uh, and just go and wreck people and never move up and blah, blah, blah. And be like, aha, I'm a douchebag. I'm having fun. But I think the talk between NTC and low tariffs goes hand in hand because, you know, that's what uh, people are afraid of. Uh, what I think they should do is because we don't need economic bonuses per se, but we need some sort of bonuses. I think the uh, levels of expert marksmen or something that was in World of Tanks, I forget what it's called, but, where, you know, where you got the ring around your barrels, like, oh, my God, he's, you know, he, he plays that ship. He knows how to, you know, use it. He knows how to hurt people. Uh, I think that's what everybody was expecting. And when they came out and said, no, we're going to give you better dispersion. Everyone's like, what? And then, of course, NTC got lumped into the, you know, the bonus thing. And, oh, my God, it's so bad. It's the worst thing in the world. And, you know what? I, I kind of understand why they came with, with that. I, I still I still think whoever came up with the NTC idea needs a pay raise and all paid expense vacation wherever the hell he wants to go for a month. It's it's brilliant. It's a really good idea. I I can't wait for it. I just think they went with the bonuses in a wrong route. I, I think they looked at it wrong, but once again, you got to look at the player base. Uh, you know, they bring the whole Snowflake event into uh, the discussion. And the thing with the Snowflake event, I believe a lot of us went through co-op, burning through all our low-tier stuff. Why? Because it was fast, efficient. That's what professional farmers uh, did. I did it. I'm probably not a professional, but trust me. Anybody who was farming that stuff was burning through co-op because it was the fastest way to go through all of your ships. Do you really think I could play 200 games with each and every ship? Some of them, hell, some of them I had to spec out a captain for to play. You know, like, I, I never touched it. I had, to, I had to spend credits just to get that steal. You know, because... You know, uh, you know, especially like with the, uh, like especially when they did the British stuff. You know, there were a bunch of terror, terror stuff that I had to uh, spec out, and I had gotten rid of some of my low, low tier stuff. Uh, you know, just moving on, being an idiot, idiot when I was just starting out, not, not keeping things, not having an absurd high, poor count, uh, poor slots that I have now. You know, I had to rebuy back stuff. You know, which meant I had to re you know, purchase stuff, mount stuff, uh, you know, just to get, what was it, 10 steel? But whatever the steel was, yeah. I was burning through all my low tears. Every single one I could burn through. Whatever ship I could get that snowflake off, I was burning through. Our team has taken the so, you know, when they went with this whole, oh, look, see, high tier players like to play the, play the low tier stuff. No, we like, we like the idea of the steel. So I, I can kind of see where they came from, and like I said, with the bonuses, I can see where they were coming with, or at least their thought process, like how are we going to keep the the veteran player base around, the ones that have been around since, God, the beginning of time, the ones that have stuck, the player base that has stuck through the CV rework, you know, and just to give you guys an idea, I've been around since the close beta. Okay, that, that's how long I've been playing. I remember Citadels on Destroyers. I remember when battleships couldn't hit shit at two kilometers. 
at this range, I remember battleships not being able to hit one freaking shell at this range. And yes, that was the thing. You know, I hit what? Six out of my how many? You know, I have my freaking shells hit. I don't remember when you were lucky to get one. Of course, I'm being so modest in chat. You know, because I'm such the modest type. But I was doing that just, uh, just to make us F and L laugh. Who's the real hero of this game? Running an IFAG, Carl. Because you know what? Free IFAG, which is quarter pen. With IFAG, which is now a half a pen. At this tier. And I gave him the idea. We both had to go to the showers after this game. And just wash off the filth. But I, uh, uh, I think with the community being an uproar with these bonuses, express fool, I think it still shows the community is passionate. The wise, smart players are still like, no, no, that's that's too much power in our hands. That's that's the worst idea in the world. You, you shouldn't do it. You know what? My hands off to the community for at least at least stepping up in that direction instead of going, no, no, it's perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, just, I can't wait. I can't wait to have minus 10% dispersion on my seal clubbing ship with more HP and faster reload of consumables. No, no, that's perfectly fine. I'm glad everybody stepped up to the plate for it. Uh, it's a good thing. Still shows that the community cares about the game and legitimately cares about the player base. Maybe it was a Charleston I was going up in that story. I'm not sure. I don't know. I can't recall. No, uh, SFNL is telling the Charleston to farm me, and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to farm him. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the talk. I do hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. Uh, I'm probably sure I knew what everybody's going to say, but please... You know, what are your thoughts about the low tier, you know, going back and playing low tiers? Uh, trust me, I know everybody's thoughts on, on the whole NTC thing because Wargaming has, you know, changed the tune. And I'm glad Wargaming listens. I still think it shows Wargaming listens to the community and or cares while we all sit here and bitch and complain uh, to Wargaming. Uh, hey, my hat's off to them. NTC is a great idea. Bonuses, wrong direction wrong direction with the bonuses but the idea is still a great idea so now we're going to check out the post battle results now i hope you guys really did enjoy this gameplay i do hope you guys partake in the discussion in the comments down below we do love all the support you guys do give us we do love the replays you send us the email for the dis uh for the discussion the email for the replays is in the description the discussion part is in the comments haha <laughs> Please remember to compliment good team or good team play. We are quick to report, so a little compliment. Please hit that like and subscribe button, and have yourselves one heck of a great day.